Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech Unit. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a way to build Kubernetes YAML configuration files using AI. Now, if you haven't seen my other videos, I've created some Terraform scripts, PowerShell scripts using this new tool called ChatGPT. And it's a tool by OpenAI that basically is a um, engine, an AI engine that um, allows you to basically input in from, uh, questions or any type of uh, basically anything you want to know more about and have a, uh, a great conversation with the tool and it be able to understand what you want. So what I'm going to do here is uh, show you. So if you're uh, familiar with Kubernetes, you might know that there are different kinds of the, um, YAML configuration types. So if you don't know, um, you can come in here and let's say, let's say ask that particular question. So I'm going to go what kind of Kubernetes YAML types are there? And the answer I'm uh, expecting to get is them to show me the different types like pod, deployment, um, service, config map, secret, some of the different things that you would uh, write um, different YAML configuration files for that you apply in your Kubernetes cluster. So as you can see here, it's uh, giving us the different types. So pod deployment, um, service, secret, config map, some of the ones I was just going over here. And if you want to see some of the other different ones, obviously you can go to the Kubernetes documentation and see some more there. But where you're probably maybe stumped at is, okay, what's some uh, ways that I can get a template um, for some of these to then edit myself? And what you can do is come in and say, well, what would a pod um, YAML template look like? And then it's gonna go ahead and then compute a template that you can then take yourself and edit and add whatever fields or, you know, um, key value pairs, ports, uh, you know, obviously you're gonna have to change some of this up to, um, you know, manage and uh, make sure that it, it adheres to your environment, but it'll then give you a uh, um, great starting point. But another great thing is you can actually um, edit some of this to actually, well, you can talk to the AI to say, Hey, change. Can you make me like, like, let's say this, let's make a pod or can you make me, or let's say, what would a pod YAML, um, configuration for a app called, let's say Mongo DB with port, let's say 3000. Now it should already know that I'm, I'm, I'm uh, talking about the existing one that it's already talked about there. So let's see if it actually changes the information in there. So MongoDB, Mongo latest container port 3000. So again, this might actually um, spew out some differences. Uh, it may not always be 100% correct, but I've had have had success with actually being able to use um, most of the information it gives you to get like a starting point going to then being able to edit and add what you need yourself. Now again, um, you know, if we go back up to the top, we're still talking about um, Kubernetes uh, YAML files. So I can say for deployment, how would a deployment config or YAML? Um, let's what I put up here. Oh, file for a app called MongoDB with port 3000, say 3000, and let's say five replicas. And let's see if it actually takes everything that we mentioned, creates the same type of thing, but instead of a pod, we're gonna get a deployment. Now you're gonna see it's changing it to Mongo deployment. It's gonna do match labels, MongoDB. 
replicas, five containers. We got MongoDB, Mongo latest, container port 3000. So then we can come in and actually say, hey, you know what? Build me a secret. Build a secret YAML type that has a Mongo DB username and password. So if you have like environment variables of some sort, you can put them in the secret file instead of actually putting them directly into your uh, um, configuration there. Now this is base 64 encoded. And so now that we have the secret, let's see if we can go through and edit um, this deployment file. And how would we configure the deployment? Let's say the deployment YAML configuration to utilize the secret for our Mongo DB environment variables. Now let's see if we can actually articulate all that and, and put it into a use. So we have apps eight version one deployment, MongoDB deployment replicas five. So it still knew that we, we wanted our replicas five. It still knew that we're matching app equals MongoDB containers to ports, environment, Mongo username, value from secret key reference, name, MongoDB secret key username, name, Mongo uh, password. So it's, it's, it's grabbing everything. And that's pretty much uh, it. So if you're, if you're new to, um, you know, Kubernetes, um, you know, you're learning, this tool is, uh, is currently free um, through uh, OpenAI through their research preview. So you can go ahead and sign up. Uh, it doesn't charge you for anything while you're using it. Um, they're basically just trying to get as much feedback as they can to make this thing more better. Um, I think I see uh, AI becoming very beneficial in scenarios where people will need to say move faster on figuring out specific things instead of say um, sifting through a ton of Google forums. Because essentially what we did here is nothing I would say would be out of the norm of what you would already, you know, find researching through the um, Kubernetes documentation or some other YouTube video. You can basically get like, as you can see here, I was able to make a pod YAML configuration, or I can just make a deployment, or, and then with that deployment, I made a secret config um, YAML configuration, and then also apply that inside my current deployment um, file. So with that, I'm able to take this and then also cross check it with uh, my current environment and say, hey, okay, I got a baseline. What else do I need? Do I need to add anything, remove anything? Do I need to match labels, add additional labels, stuff like that? So now you have a great baseline to say, take this and uh, add it for another different de um, deployment services, things like that. So again, if you uh, have any questions in regards to the chat GPT and how it works, drop me a comment down below. Again, like and subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting up more videos on just different automation tips and AI. And, and if you have any other questions, you can also um, go over to my blog, letmetechyou.com. Um, I'll be having different uh, blog posts on some other things as far as AI and tech and uh, things like that go. So again, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, give me a shout if you have any other video ideas you would like me to get into. And again, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.